Hi, my name is Dr. Colin Palmer. I'm a large animal veterinarian at the Western College of Veterinary Medicine and the Associate Director at the Livestock and Forage Center of Excellence. Together with my family, I'm a proud producer of Red Angus cattle. What is a vaccine protocol? A vaccine protocol includes what vaccines should be used on your farm and why, uh, when those vaccines should be administered, and how frequently they should be administered, and to what class of animals they should be administered to. It's just simple as that. What are the benefits of talking to a veterinarian about your vaccination program? I'm asked that question a lot. It's really important to find a veterinarian that's familiar with both your herd and your circumstances. For example, are you buying outsourced cattle? What about disease risks that wildlife in your area might pose to your herd? What about uh, how you process your cattle? What about facilities that you have available and labor? All those things need to be considered when you think about a vaccination program. How is a vaccine protocol developed and why should you have a vaccine protocol? Well, a vaccine protocol is something that you should develop with a veterinarian that's familiar with your herd and your circumstances. Do you outsource cattle? Uh, do you have a, a wildlife risk that, that, that proposes a disease challenge to your herd? Um, do you, how do you process your cattle? Uh, do you use a particular type of castration method that might uh, predispose those animals to developing uh, tetanus? Um, what sort of facilities do you have? What sort of help do you have available to, to, to uh, help you with your animals? Other things that need to be considered in developing a protocol are uh, how, what kind of vaccines should you, you use, when they should be administered, uh, how often they should be administered, and to what class of animals that they should be administered to. All these things must be considered when you're developing a vaccine protocol. And it's best to, to lean on those veterinarians that are in your community to help you develop that. What does a written vaccine protocol look like? <laughs> That's a great question. Lots of times uh, veterinarians have been complacent in not giving their producers a written vaccine protocol. Uh, other times producers never ask for a written vaccine protocol and uh, rely on the veterinarian to remember what they purchased last year. I think it's really a good idea to write it down. Then you know what you're giving, ask particular questions about withdrawal times that you have for the animals, uh, safety precautions, for example, some modified live vaccines are not safe for use in, in uh, pregnant animals. Um, on the other hand, some killed vaccines uh, perhaps don't provide the long-lasting immunity that modified live do. If you've had it written down, then it's going to provoke a discussion about what you need and why, and it's also going to let you know what you're doing, um, and it's going to allow people in your family to be able to follow the same protocol. As I say to my own family members, I'm not always going to be here. It's nice for them to have the records down so that they know what, what's happening in the future. And it allows us to make sure that we're producing a safe product and following appropriate withdrawal times.